Hello, welcome to the University of California San Diego Chronic Kidney Disease Program. My name is Christy Turner and I am the registered dietitian. My role is to help our patients understand their diet for kidney disease. In this first module, I will review the main parts of the diet and discuss the key diet components to maintaining kidney function. Let's start by reviewing why it is important to follow a kidney diet. First, it is important for maintaining good nutrition. Second, it is important for maintaining kidney function. In the upcoming slides, we will discuss the importance of blood pressure control, blood sugar control, and other lifestyle factors which can impact your kidney function. Third, it is important to follow a kidney diet to keep your lab values in a safe range. As kidney function decreases, waste products can build up in the blood. This can cause labs to get out of range, which can potentially create complications. The three main diet components to maintaining kidney function are limiting salt intake to help keep blood pressure at goal, eating the right amount of protein, and improving blood sugar control. Blood pressure control is very important to maintaining kidney function. High blood pressure, also called hypertension, causes damage to the kidneys and is the second leading cause of kidney disease. Your goal blood pressure is less than 140 over 90 unless otherwise specified by your kidney doctor. To help keep blood pressure under control, it is important to limit your salt intake to less than 2400 milligrams per day. This is the amount that would fit into a teaspoon. We will review salt in more detail later in this presentation. Our team recommends monitoring your blood pressure at home and keeping a record of your numbers for your kidney doctor to review at each clinic visit. Avoiding too much protein intake may help maintain kidney function by limiting waste buildup and decreasing the workload of the kidney. It is not a protein restricted diet. The goal is to eat enough protein, but avoid eating too much. We will discuss protein in more detail later in this presentation. If you are a diabetic, blood sugar control is very important to maintaining kidney function. Poorly controlled diabetes causes damage to your kidneys and is the number one cause of kidney disease. Your finger stick blood sugar goals are as follows. Fasting blood sugar, which is taken on an empty stomach, typically before breakfast or your first meal of the day, should be between 90 and 130. Non-fasting, which is typically taken two hours after a meal, should be less than 180. It is important to follow a diabetic, carbohydrate-consistent diet. If you need a review of the diabetic diet, we can discuss this at your next clinic visit. It is also important to check your blood sugars on a regular basis and take your diabetic medications as prescribed. Let's review what you have learned so far by answering these questions. What is your goal blood pressure? Your goal blood pressure is less than 140 over 90 unless otherwise specified by your kidney doctor. What is the recommended daily salt amount? Less than 2400 milligrams per day. What are your blood sugar goals, fasting and non-fasting? Your fasting goals are between 90 and 130, non-fasting less than 180. True or false, the kidney diet is a protein restricted diet. False, the goal is to eat enough protein but avoid eating too much. Congratulations, you have completed the first module on the diet for chronic kidney disease. Please check our website for additional educational modules on kidney health.